So city, city to us, this is a bad one to have first. Um, I'll change that. So city to us is power pass. So if you're a power read team, uh, this is where this came from. Uh, it's also, some people call it trap pass. So if you look at the schematics of it, it's power, it's city right, so it's power read right. We're deucing to two, we're caging on the backside, he's free releasing, we're pulling to take the defensive end. If he's up the field, we'll kick him out. If he's getting a wrong arm, we'll seal him inside. What I need out of the guard is two hard steps. I need him to cross the center with some intent to him. He's going to have to pull up. I understand that because he can't just turn it into a trap and kill a guy. You know, he's got to be under control because he's got to sustain the block. The back is working off of the first puller or the puller. So if the, if the left guard pulls and kicks out the defensive end, the back will sit inside of him. And conversely, if you get a wrong arming defensive end, we'll seal that and the back will be outside. He does have to abort against backside edge pressure. Um, so abort the fake. But that's city to us. So we're deucing to two. Cajun on the backside, which means our center's back. He overshoots it a little bit. The other thing is I had him aim a little flatter on the back block. I had him aim a little flatter on the back block because if that DN was blowing up the field, that would be a problem. If I was aiming at the V of the neck, which would be our normal back block. Ruben should be funnel kicking, which he is. Sit, stay patient, and then this is just four verts from a three wide set. Pull kick, we end up kicking him out. Not the most ferocious block in the world. And Al's fitting off, off of it. So sit, looking at it from the wide. Again, four verts is all Viking is. Hash landmarks, I, know, I do know that because I like four verts. Hash landmarks, he's trying to hold the red line five yards from the sideline. Okay, so I'll go to that first one. So this is our too many buster. This is our guaranteed head coach said, this will work, this will be a touchdown, and he was right. So we go H city, uh, H city, it should be right. H city right. Okay? So schematics up front are the same. We just really don't have a back in protection. So it's a five-man protection. A little dicey, but if the head man draws it up and says this is a touchdown, you call it. And he's a defensive guy, trust him. He's right. But schematically up front for us is the same. They didn't know that the back wasn't in protection. They did not care. But again, physical with this deuce really does a heck of a job here by the play side guard. Not bad for a freshman. Give me some intent across, cross the line of, or across the uh, center's face. We're in good shape there. Okay, so that's back to the one we saw. Now it's Z City left. Pipe our wheel. Again, dicey. We don't uh, have a back end protection. And no one runs with the back. Little do they know we have a running back or a wide receiver at running back. Don't give them too much credit. Okay, so we're cage, funnel kick, deuce to two, pull kick. We do stick with this if he crosses face on that deuce. That's why Ruben pulls off of that. Again, aim high. Aim high from the center. We knew if he was going fast, as fast as he should, he would not be in the protection. He was just an outlet, hang out, just in case. Everything blows up. We got somewhere to go with the ball. But it really was, I'm here. That's about it. Viking again, three by one, four vert concept. And we've seen this protection. This is my second, this is my number one formation in football. I love this formation, by the way. Not that anyone cares. But that's the number one. Two is the tight end with the three receivers. Teams have to make a decision. So, city right. So all this make, I mean, 
conceptually, I, I didn't put the drawings of them all. I hate wasting time on, I don't learn that way. I like seeing it and going through it. So this was, again, we knew when we were going to get, you know, left weak. This is, they were going to put that boundary safety down. You guys would probably RPO this, where we just called play action with it. Knew we were going to get this reaction or had a high probability. But this is why stay, uh, why stay. That just puts him in the protection as well. I was at the previous spot I was at would just call max, and it would mean different things where one guy would stay, but the other guy would leave. And I like defining it more just so everyone knows what the heck's going on. 